Hi, this is John from NYC Geek Society uh, with Victor Magnus here. And we just watched uh, the newest Alien short um, that IGN has been distributing with 20th Century Fox. And this one's called Night Shift, and it was directed and written by Aiden Bresnik. So, uh, Victor, uh, what did you think of Night Shift? Well, out of the three, this one was the worst. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm, you know, the thing is that if you want us to care about characters, you got to build them up a little bit, not build them up after something has already happened to them. Now, um, this um, this just this just again defies the rules of the universe, like you mentioned before, as to how long it takes to. Uh, so these uh, aliens to incubate inside of uh, someone the th after the face hugger. And I think we should mention spoilers on this one because there's right. no way to get around it. Right. Uh, on this one. Um, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Yeah, we'll put it, put it in the title so <laughs> yeah. we've gotten this so far. Yeah. Um, so it starts off again with the colony somewhere, okay? Right. The space truck drivers, or these blue-collar workers are in this tunnel for some reason. I have no idea what they're doing there. Mm, we see, yeah. they say, oh, what are you doing, man? He picks them up. We see a, a discarded face hugger in the corner. How he walked by and not notice it, I have no idea. <laughs> if he walked by it. But anyway, so again, we're led to believe that he, this guy tangled with a face hugger and now he's impregnated. Um, and then just a little while later, it happens. We get the full Monty, as they say. <laughs> this time we got a, a little uh, face punch with the alien, yeah, we saw alien it. face. But it was quick. Yeah. It was quick. Now, the other thing is I want to know what they were doing. They were asking for alcohol or they were asking for what? Yeah, it seems like that um, two of the characters, uh, the lady and the other guy, uh, that they worked in some sort of uh, storage, you know, unit or something that dispenses items to people on this colony, which again we have no idea what they're there for. And so this guy who was hungover w came there with his friend, and his friend even had said, "Oh, you need the hair of the dog," so he wanted to get some more alcohol. And then uh, we just see, <laughs> like, the face punch. And the, the, the friend kind of freak out and just shoot wildly, killing the other guy. <laughs> and he's and, and getting, getting the lights, too. Um, and then what? Did he run? He, he escaped? He ran away? Well, Do I mean, does any, can anybody actually get away? Because... So, so then uh, the lady... Who had made a reference before, oh, what did baseball ever do for anybody? I guess she ends up hitting the alien with a baseball bat. But it makes like this, like this soft, like clank sound of like, boop, bop, bop, bop. The sound was <laughs> terrible right from the beginning. Right. The sound mixing was so bad. Um, the initial dialogue, the first dialogue we hear is muddled by the music. You know, this atmospheric music, we should have stopped so we could hear them talk or something, but it kept going and I had trouble hearing their, di their dialogue. Then some of it looked like it was looped in after because the syncing was off. Yeah, her, especially her, the, the woman, her voice um, it was completely off. I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know if maybe they had to go back and redo it, but... Now, the other thing is the other sounds, like you said... Um, when she's hitting the... It just sounds like she's hitting the floor. Like, did they forget to put in an effect there? <laughs> I don't know. It sounded like a wet towel fight at a flat house. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. And not only that, when uh, we see her partner at the monitor, I was wondering, what's he doing? Is he listening to porpoise sounds? Because it sounded like whale songs. Well, she was sounds. the one listening to the whale sound. Yeah. I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Yeah, she was listening to whale sounds, and that's what he was complaining about. And he said, "Oh, you should l listen to baseball like me." Yeah, where's the, where's it? Where was it coming from? Where, where they listen to? I would have felt better if the storage unit had like 
at least bottles in it or something that we could see so we could make sense of it. But it just looked like a storeroom somewhere without any store storage. Well, there are boxes. <laughs> Nondescript boxes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I expect a little bit more than cardboard boxes, I guess. And not to mention, <laughs> to mention the shooting, right? Now, this character is laying on the floor, and he takes out this big gun that looked like a giant water pistol, which I think is what it was. <laughs> oh, like no. a giant Blade Runner gun water pistol. It did look like a Blade Runner gun, yeah. And I guess he's supposed to be shooting down at it, but somehow... He shoots everywhere but at it. And he shoots the ceiling? <laughs> That's a good point. Why would he be going up? He's just freaking out that much. And somehow he got... We didn't even see him get the other guy's neck. He just got... He shot the guy somehow. And this is the slowest moving baby xenomorph I've ever seen. Because his little tail is coming out from behind the behind guy he just burst out of. Like he's hanging out. Waiting to get shot. This guy still missed him. Now, um, she, she kills it, I guess, with the baseball bat. Right. Makes it look super easy. Um, she should have been splattered in acid Yeah, wanted to be acid everywhere, yeah. And then we hear sounds yeah. of the whole base getting attacked, I guess, right. and, and people screaming, and, and I guess you can't really escape. Yeah, and that's it. But it wasn't, it was ill-conceived, I ex there wasn't much of a story here. No. Um, I didn't really care about any of the characters whatsoever. Um, and the uh, the production quality was was pretty bad. I mean, the costumes were okay. And, and that, that airship at the beginning, flying over, that was pretty cool. I like that. Well, yeah. They, they I mean, all of them get those special effects. The exterior is okay. I mean, no, none of them have been bad at that. Mm. But it's what happens inside. Now... I want to talk about, too, though, that this is now the third short, and there's still no big adult xenomorph. Uh, do you think that that's going to happen, I wonder, now, at this point? Or? Well, I want to know if there is not. I want to know why. Because if high school kids in New Jersey can do it <laughs> on stage, right. on a high school production budget, hmm. then there's no reason why we can't have at least some full-grown xenomorph. Right. Um, yeah, I, I, can, I, I, can't, I, can't really, I can't believe this one. All right, so if you had to rate it out of 10, what would it be? This would uh, definitely, if the first one was a 6 and the second one was a 9, right? right? Uh, containment was a 6, specimen was 9. Uh, what was this called? Night Shift. Night Shift, Night shift is a 4 or 3. Mm. Somewhere in the middle. 3.5, I'll give it. Because it was really that. It was really, I'm sorry, it was really that bad. Uh, for me, you know, the first one I rated uh, a seven. The second one, I, I didn't get to do a video, as you probably know. But I probably would have rated around an 8.5, something like that. Um, but for me, I'd, I'd rate this one probably about a five. Um, oh, that's generous. Yeah, I mean... Well, the acting was pretty good. It was okay. I didn't fault the actors. Fine. None of them, none of and, them um, were bad. I liked that scene with the airship at the beginning. That was interesting. The 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 baby xenomorph, from what we saw, at least it looked it looked good. You know, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it, it had no story, and something was obviously messed up with the sound. And I wonder what happened there, but. Um, yeah, for me it would be a 5 out of 10. But uh, what do you guys think? Um, you know, uh, tell your mom, tell your dad. <laughs> oh, wait, you gotta do the like, share, subscribe. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your storeroom <laughs> supervisor. <laughs> And none of them, they don't care. <laughs> and uh, NYC, geek out. <laughs>